Okay, so starting off this vlog on par for the course as I usually do with breakfast. So today I'm going to try to make an omelet. I did yesterday, um, so I'm, I really want to try again and hopefully I can flip it. For some reason with vegan eggs, I, it doesn't, I tried making my own a bunch and it just never turns out. So I'm using, well, that's really close. I'm using just <laughs> eggs and uh, this isn't going to be super healthy because to be honest, you got to use a crap ton of butter so it doesn't stick. So I'm going to turn the pan on, well, turn the heat on. I'm gonna just put it on like four or five, in between four and five. Oh God, that's the wrong burner. Bad start. Okay, four and five, right burner, and uh, get that right. And then add some butter. I know this is kind of like explaining how to make stuff that's pretty much already ready to go, but I tried doing a big vlog yesterday of making something and it just did not work out. You'll never see that, so I'll explain that after I eat this, but um, yeah, let's start this omelet. So, crap ton of butter, like I said. Just mush it around a bit, mush it around. Proper cooking terms, just mush it, just mush it. Ah, don't scratch your pan. I'm very worried about scratching pans all the time. The serving of this just egg is um, three tablespoons. For an omelet, I use six of just two servings, obviously. Um, I measure it out, whoa, I try to anyway. Um, just cause I'm like that. So I have no idea, <laughs> I hope you're not seeing my hand or blocking anything. Low and slow, I think that's the way to go. Basically when you see bubbles, then I kind of like push the sides, kind of like you do when you're making, you know, an omelet with an egg you just kind of push it up at least I did but then flipping it is a hard part and I really hope it works today because I cooked some onions and I have my cheese ready to go so we're gonna be all set so I'll come back when this starts to bubble so now very carefully I think I think it's ready just kind of like push up and pull the stuff back a little just to get whatever liquids on top to the bottom to cook more without really disrupting the ah don't do that don't do that no 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 again just let it sit for a couple seconds i think it's probably ready just kind of like wiggle it a bit i mean ah okay i let that cook i'm gonna turn it up a teeny tiny bit but i'm gonna throw the onions that i made in there oh my gosh i'm so excited to stay together and some cheddar Cheese from Violife. Ah, doesn't look great. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is just cover it with a lid just to kind of let that melt a little bit before I flip it over again. Yeah, hopefully it's good. I'm sure it's gonna be this that was the scary part, so I think everything's fine now. Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh my god, it's perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go eat now. Okay, so it's later in the day and Greg's gonna be home from work soon, but I wanted to record this super quick um, and just kind of explain what I meant earlier when I said that yesterday uh, vlogging was a flop and um, yeah, just talk about that super fast. Basically, when we were in California, I think I might have talked about this a little bit. Um, I don't know how much, but we went to a place called Butcher Sun and uh, they had the best sandwich I've ever had and the best vegan bacon I've ever had. The best bacon, I'm just gonna say, the best bacon. And uh, after that, for a little while, I was trying different like vegan bacon options when I had the chance to see if it was that bacon. And I never could figure out what it was and I thought maybe they make their own, like I don't know. But I was on Facebook like maybe two weeks ago and I'm in a group called like what fat vegans eat or something like that and somebody posted a picture of their breakfast and they had this bacon and somebody commented saying like you know oh this looks like fatty ham or something sometimes there's like arguments in the comments when stuff looks too real or whatever so I just kind of glanced at that really quick and nobody was arguing but the person was like yeah my kitchen smells like bacon now this is the bacon that they use at Butcher Sun in Berkeley and I saw the person say that and I was like hold up like I think I sat up and I was like hold up and um like I said it out loud is what I mean and um so they said it was like 
the belief brand like b-e-l-e-a-f i don't know if you say belief or belief or whatever but um they said the brand so i looked it up saw where you could find it and you could buy it on uh vegan essentials which I bought stuff from them before, so I was like, this is great, I'll just get some, try it out, whatever. And they had a couple other products that I thought I would try too. And um, I'm just gonna get into it because I've been rambling a little too long already. So, this bacon, <laughs> I have it in a bag right now. But, well, actually, this bacon. This is a bacon, it's what the box looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure it is the same bacon. I thought like maybe it's not the same. Maybe somebody just said that and don't know what they were talking about. That's also a possibility. But I'm pretty sure it's the same bacon. Um, but, oh my God. Okay, so I opened, oh, oh my God. I almost dropped it everywhere. Oh, it just smells so strong. Like, like almost like a chemical like paint or like acetone kind of smell. This is what it looks like. <laughs> close up to try to focus on my face that's what it looks like i mean when i cooked it it was fine like on my hands it smells like bacon but it just has a really strong smell to it like i don't know i think that's what kind of ruined it because on the sandwich like it was okay it didn't taste like what i ate there but you know it was an okay sandwich the bacon tasted like bacon but it just I think just smelling that smell while I was trying to kind of get everything together just grossed me out so much and just turned me off of that. So I just kind of lost my appetite when I was making it. So that did not work out, unfortunately. And I was thinking of like this being a good video. I made like homemade ciabatta bread. I made homemade mozzarella, like cashew cheese and it just did not work out. The ciabatta bread is great. That was like the best part, but I don't know. I'll try again. I kind of want to make it on like, I don't know, like a veggie burger or something and like kind of make it like a bacon cheeseburger. I think that would be really good. But even the texture, it was different because like at the restaurant, it was kind of like chewy and I like that. Like I always liked bacon like that, but yesterday it was just grossing me out and I don't know if it was just the smell or whatever, like I said. But anyway, moving on, I also got, um, oh, not that, not that, that's yet to come. I got this egg because everybody raved about this egg and everybody said it was so good, so realistic. Introduce problem. Okay, so I opened the box and it was frozen. You have to let it thaw out, whatever. Um, let me turn this camera down and just show you what I'm seeing if you can see so here's okay there's paper right this is paper in between each egg there was paper but here's my problem see this on the edge here I think that might be paper too and if it is it's just stuck to it and I don't know like that looks like paper right and if I eat it I'm pretty sure it's paper. I've already tried to eat it before and it tastes like paper. So I don't know. I don't I don't know if it is actually paper, if it's part of the egg. I feel like it wouldn't come out to there and it wouldn't have this separation piece on it like that. So I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm thinking maybe I'll just put it in a pan um like tomorrow and try it out and if it's a big disaster i'll just make another omelet because they're really good and they don't disappoint me um but this stuff too it was it was not cheap so that's another reason i'm disappointed with everything that's supposed to be so great and it's just not turning out great for me and then the last thing i got which this was the lowest of all my expectations because it's seafood and i don't think vegan seafood is as from what I've tried is ever that good. Um, this is the shrimp from the same brand. It looks like this. Um, I've tried shrimp before. I think from, I think the brand was like Sophie's Kitchen. Kitchen, And um, it was not that good. It didn't smell like shrimp. It didn't taste like shrimp. And I ate a lot of shrimp back in the day. I hate to say it, but my dad was a big shrimp person and I ate a lot of shrimp. So I don't know. I was going to try the bacon again today and try to make like a like a bacon burger, like I said. 
but I think I need a bacon break. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm even hesitant to make the shrimp, but I might. I have spaghetti, so I'm thinking I might just make like buttered pasta and just make that on the side. I don't think I'm going to show it because like I said, Greg will be here and I don't really want to be recording a lot or whatever. So um, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do actually, I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to cook it in a pan and I'm going to try it plain. I'll come back to try it. I'll try it plain and then I'll dip it in butter because that's how I used to eat it, just dipped in butter. So I'll do that and see if I like it. And if not, I don't know. <laughs> it's just really disappointing if I don't like any of this stuff and I'm, I have not been so far. The bacon I'm really bummed about because I thought that was going to be like great. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again like I said. I don't know. And it kind of, it sucks because like when you try something and it kind of grosses you out, then you're like less inclined to try it. It sounds like, doesn't sound like a good idea and like thinking about it now just kind of makes me feel a little nauseous. So I don't know. I'm going to give it a few days and then come back to it and see if it's any better. But I don't know. See what this shrimp's like. Try this shrimp tonight. I was, like I said, I was debating it, but why not? Why not just try the last thing and see if it's a hit or a miss. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to like record the process, which I'm not. But I open it and it doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't, it has like a very light seafoody smell. I thought it was gonna stink, but it doesn't. It just has like a faint seafood smell. So I put some oil in the pan, I'm gonna pour it in. I might have high hopes for this, guys. Let's we'll see. Okay, so I'm trying this shrimp. Greg's here, so if you hear him in the background, that's why. <coughs> This is what it looks like. It, it has a fishy smell. So I'm just gonna try. Hmm. Oh, is that a good reaction? So don't try to offer it to me because I don't like shrimp to begin with, so. It doesn't taste exactly like shrimp, but it has like that shrimp, like it has a very light shrimp taste, which makes it good. Oh my God, this was the thing that I had the least amount. I'm gonna dip it in some butter now, because that's how I need it. That's too big of a piece to show in my mouth. Like, no butter, this brings back memories. That's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. Like I said, it doesn't taste exactly like it, but it has a shrimp, like this light, light shrimp flavor. That makes it satisfying. I should have just ordered three boxes of shrimp. I told them about the bacon mishap and mm -hmm. the egg mishap. What's in this? Let me see, I'm gonna look. It's a mukbang. Mukbang, Monday night dinner. I'm also gonna heat up some pasta. Probably like the guy that cries while he eats. No, what's his name? Nicola Lada Avocado or something. Yeah. I only saw like clips of him. That's just very weird. Like first of all, I feel like eating, like you don't look that appealing when you're eating to begin with, let alone crying and eating. Do we have a shirt off too? Like yeah, do you have a shirt off? I don't know. Whatever. Cone jack powder, vegetable gum, vegetable root starch, paprika, brown sugar, sea salt, plant-based vegan seasoning. That's it. What is cone jack powder exactly? Con jack, is it con jack? I looked that up the other day. I wasn't it's sure. gasoline. Oh my gosh, this is really good. I don't want it. I didn't ask if he did. Did I make some pasta now? Have some more shrimp? That was really good. I realize this isn't the best angle, but I wanted to finish the video for the week because I tried to make a bacon cheeseburger like I said I was gonna do and I just wanted to show that really quick because that's probably the best way to eat that bacon. It still has like a weird taste to it sometimes if you don't cook it really like hard. I know how desperate I am to wrap this up when there's a tree in the background and I just didn't care. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that. It is officially. That was one of this weekend's plans. It's January 26th. Maybe I'll post this today. Maybe. You ever get me an ornament? I'm working on it. Is it on it. the way? It's on the way. I don't think it is. It's on the way. I don't think you ordered anything. <laughs>
Well, here's the thing. Let me just explain this quick. The tree is up because um, Gray got me an ornament, and then I get him an ornament, and his ornament hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> so. You didn't order it. Right. I ordered it now. When? Just now? <laughs> just now. <laughs> I haven't picked out. I just didn't order it yet. Like I saw it and what I What are you waiting for? <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> waiting for a discount? So what I'm going to do is make this burger, charge my battery a little bit, come back, throw the burger, maybe talk about the bacon a little more, I don't know. Um, and then we just edit this last piece and upload it tonight. Alright, so burger is made. This is what it looks like, and that looks like pretty real, I think, for the bacon. Um, but this is really, really good. I put two slices on just because I'm trying to use it up. Um, I don't know what else to say. My battery is dying. This is really good. I probably would get the bacon again. The egg I didn't make, so I have no idea. I can't, you can't see me. So I have no idea if... Um, that's actually good or not. I just didn't want to eat paper and it looked like paper, so I'm not going to try that again. But this I would try again, and the shrimp I would definitely try again. So that's going to be my review for those three products. You give it out of 10. What? This? Yeah. I'd probably give it a 7. Because it's the best bacon I've had, but it also oh, tastes a little sorry. funny. I don't know, like I kind of want to message like the company and just be like, when I opened it, it has this really strong smell, like what is that? Just to know, just to like find out. So if I do that, I'll let you know. But my battery's dying. I want to eat this. That's my review. And I think I'll just do a normal vlog next time you see me. So I'll see you when I see you.